This huge release of documents comes after a judge ruled last week there was no legal cause to keep the record sealed in relation to the synagogue shooting investigation. In the hundreds of pages, we find out where the suspected shooter bought the rifle he used and all the evidence detectives have collected so far. Unveiling loads of specific details on the suspected Habada Poway shooter, John Ernest, a judge released 17 search warrants that were served in the time following the deadly April 27th shooting, which claimed the life of 60-year-old Lori Kay and injured several others, including the rabbi. The dozens of pages reveal a gun receipt saying Ernest bought the rifle he used in the shooting from San Diego Guns on Mission Gorge Road. The store owner did not want to speak on camera, but confirms one of his employees sold Ernest the gun for $963.41 using a MasterCard. In California, anyone under the age of 21 can legally buy a rifle if they have a valid hunting license and are over the age of 18. The multiple warrants seized Facebook photos, private messages, and deleted posts to warrants for Google and AT&T records, as well as school records from Mount Carmel High School and Cal State San Marcos, where Ernest attended. One document lists items that were seized following the shooting, including all firearms, ammunition, home photos, medications, health records, any materials regarding mental health issues, personal journals, diaries, telephone records, bank records, all computers, cell phones, printers, cameras, flash drives, and white spray paint. For the property at the Chabad of Poway, Ernest's four-door Honda Civic and a helmet with a GoPro camera attached. Records show detectives found a manifesto on pastebin.com written by John Ernest called An Open Letter, where many anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim statements were made. The document quotes Ernest's writing, he is not a terrorist, but hates anyone he sees as a threat to his country. Records review Ernest taking credit for the Escondido mosque fire a few weeks prior to the synagogue shooting. Writing in response to the New Zealand mosque shootings in March, I scorched a mosque in Escondido with gasoline after Brenton Tarrant's sacrifice. I did speak with the manager of the San Diego gun, Dallas Martinson, who did not want to make a statement or go into detail about the rifle purchase. He says the employee who sold the gun is still working there, but was not there today.